The U.S. is ramping up its challenges to China's claims in the South China Sea. The U.S. conducted more freedom of navigation operations in 2019 than in any year since the U.S. began more aggressively challenging China's claims in the South China Sea in 2015. The Navy conducted seven phone ops in the South China Sea last year, according to records provided by the U.S. Pacific Fleet. The phone ops are designed to challenge China's claim to maritime rights and dominion over several island chains in the region, which have put the U.S. and its allies at loggerheads with China. Patrols of U.S. warships come within 12 miles of features claimed by China, including features that the Asian nation has converted into military installations. The patrols are meant to signal that the U.S. considers the claims excessive. China views the patrols as irritating and unlawful intrusions into its waters. So far, the phone ops have not caused China to back down on its claims. The Obama administration authorized two phone ops in 2015 and three in 2016. The program has escalated under the Trump administration, with the Navy conducting six in 2017 and five in 2018. However, during Trump's first two years in office, Navy transits of the Taiwan Strait dropped precipitously from 12 in 2016 to 5 in 2017, then just 3 in 2018. The Taiwan Strait transits picked up again in 2019, with nine transits conducted through the year. In a statement, Pacific Fleet spokesperson Lieutenant J.G. Rachel McMahon said the Navy was committed to continuing to demonstrate its willingness to challenge excessive claims. Quote, U.S. forces routinely conduct freedom of navigation assertions throughout the world, McMahon said in a statement. Quote, All of our operations are designed to be conducted in accordance with international law and demonstrate that the United States will fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows, regardless of the location of excessive maritime claims and regardless of current events. Phone ops continue. The Navy conducted its first phone op of 2020 on January 25th, sending the literal combat ship Montgomery past Chinese claims in the Spartley Islands. During that operation, China sent two fighter bombers scrambling overhead to intimidate the Montgomery, according to the country's state media. The U.S. Navy frames these phone ops as challenging excessive claims by all powers in the region, and the January 25th patrol was officially aimed at China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Specifically, the Navy challenged the notion that innocent passage through the claimed territorial waters requires previous notification. But China has been by far the most aggressive in its claims, going so far as to build island fortifications armed with anti-ship and anti-air missiles, according to the Pentagon's 2019 report on China. The U.S. military views that as a creeping violation of freedom of navigation, which some warn China might ultimately use to try to gain unfair advantages in global commerce. The uptick in phone ops? tensions over protests in Hong Kong and Taiwan's ability to self-rule, and increasing clashes between China and Vietnam in recent months have combined to create an increasing unease in the region," said Zhi Zhu, a professor of political science and international relations at Bucknell University. Quote, In the South China Sea, both the U.S. and China have beefed up their presence, he said. Quote, U.S.-China military ties have worsened as a result of Trump's signing of the Hong Kong Acts and Beijing's retaliation. Clashes between China and Vietnam seem growing, with Vietnam complaining about China's repeated intrusions into what Hanoi calls its exclusive economic zone. U.S. President Donald Trump in November signed a law supporting anti-government protests in Hong Kong. Quote, in the Taiwan Strait, tensions have grown, Zhu added. Quote, with Tsai Ing-wen's re-election, Beijing may feel reunification is more distant and something that has to be done to arrest Taiwan's further drifting away, so the overall situation has deteriorated. 